Hello and welcome, I'm at a Caravan Salon and here we've got some Ford vehicles on uh, being used as uh, recreational vehicles. So, we have a number of companies showing what they can do. So the main manufacturers, base vehicle manufacturers, as I would say, here we've got Ford, uh, over here we've got Nissan, there we've got Volkswagen, Iveco, Mercedes, uh, I think Renault's here, MAN is here, and so in this video I'm going to talk about Ford. This is the all new Ford Nugget. Well, it's got a different grill to it anyway, so I can say it's a bit new. And uh, so what we've got here is different uh, vehicle manufacture, sorry, different converters. So this is a Westphalia conversion on the Ford. And as you can see, what we've got here is uh, quite a relatively small vehicle. Now, a friend of mine was interested in buying one of these. Fortunately, I managed to persuade her not to and to look for something a bit more practical. And what this has got at the back, or rather what it hasn't got at the back, is a, a toilet. And you know, vehicles, in my opinion, have to be self-contained. Having said all that, I do believe that the Ford Transit offers the best platform for a camper van. The reason I say that is because of the structure of the vehicle itself. It's higher than a Ducato, so you've got, uh, it's uh, quite a few centimeters higher. And what this means to say is it offers stacks of space uh, above the head. I mean, you don't even have to need a silly tent in the roof to give you stacks of space uh, in the roof. Now, this is a Meridian uh, one, or Meridian Limited one, introduced for the 2024 season by Westphalia. Uh, you can see it in a different video, but it's uh, really a trial, like all Westphalia vehicles. It was wonderful finishing inside, even if in some of them, they're not much good uh, because they don't have toilets in them. Uh, here, there's a tent in the roof. And uh, so I'll give you my snobbish opinion. No, I won't because you know what I'm going to say because I'm a sort of a, um, a camper van purist. Okay, and now I have slept rough in many places. So you know, I was in, even last year, uh, I was in Ukraine sleeping rough outside in the winter. Uh, but anyway, so I'm not entirely. Uh, this thing here, Range of Wild Track. Okay, so you've got a price up there, 56530 And that's just for the base price of the Ranger. It does go off-road though, so uh, I'll, I, I'll, I'd really like to give it a go. I mean, don't get me wrong on that one. And a friend of mine has invited me to Romania to do some filming off-road. So if that goes ahead, I'm looking forward to it. Here we have another Westphalia uh, vehicle. And in this case, I'm gonna take you around this way in fact, because that way seems to be a lot of people. You've got tent in the roof, you've got a kitchen block, you've got some chairs here uh, which can be pulled forward might get a look at it but uh, let's uh, come over here and there's the price somewhere somewhere priceless there all I've got here it now I haven't got the never mind uh, this is about 80,000 it depends on the equipment level but again you've got a small you've got a small vehicle you've got a chair so you can sleep four in it uh, you sleep four uh, but you can't get yourself washed properly. So let's come over here and have a look at this one here. Now, uh, this is a Borsner uh, Lineo uh, C590, six meter vehicle, costs uh, from, I uh, know it doesn't cost, it's 56,000 approximately. Uh, now, what you have with the, with the Ford, that wonderful high roof, here comes with the uh, flying net. Notice the perspex at the end. Uh, that is a Ford Transit feature because no one's come with a fly net with a brush at the end for it. Uh, this is a very nice vehicle. It's very high, plenty of space above. I'll turn the camera around so you can see the full face. And there you have, see how much big, I see I'm standing, I'm not sitting down or something. Uh, so this is the advantage of the Ford. Storage all around, width-wise bed, kitchen block, two burners, and in here we've got for such a small van quite a large uh, toilet and um, 
uh, shower with two drainage but could do without this daft curtain in here uh, it'll only stick to your body if you're thinking of using it for washing yourself in and get rid of the uh, curtain but other than that quite like it uh, look at all this space here that's great uh, there's a tent a tent is a tent so it doesn't keep you very warm it's a summer thing only and uh, there's the fridge nothing in it unfortunately so that shows that i won't be expecting any corporate hospitality from ford from here uh, but as a personal vehicle it is uh it is quite good now here note that the bed the bed is width wise we've got this thing here which in american english is called a pod and uh, in british english is called a flare uh, that adds uh, a lot to the size of the vehicle you can see on the left hand side it's even longer because on the right hand side we've got the door uh we're sliding door which opens uh, here we have the uh, uh, the rear windows, which can be opened as well. I think all very positive. Uh, open this up as well. Gas bottles go in there. You can also use it for storing uh, brochures, but you can't put your bottle gas bottles when you've got brochures in there. So that is a very nice feature. This bit here, that's a partition that go down there. Space for your foot so you can get yourself pull yourself up into bed and of course the the mattress comes in four bits and the reason for that is you can take this out and use that for storing bulky items such as hippopotami and the likes uh, let's come round here you see some not just saying negative things about these vehicles I hope that's uh, now clear <laughs> here we have another off-road but with this really nice uh, pickup camper demountable pickup camper by Tisha and uh, so there you go Ford Ranger Tisha demountable pickup camper these things are from around 35,000 something like this uh, what we got here so if you want the whole kit here you're looking at 110,000 approximately so that it might, could be a good tish, uh, pickup camper but these pickups in like with motorhomes, it depends on the equipment level which is being offered to how good they are. So, anyways, having seen some good vehicles, now let's see some rubbish. This is a Weinsberg uh, motorhome uh, on the trans uh, transit base. Uh, this is, uh, okay, it's an under seven meter uh, motorhome. Uh, it's got a price of around uh, 85,000. Uh, now, in this case, the fact it's on the Ford Transit base uh, doesn't add to the height because if you build the height, you get build that build the back as high or as low as you want it to. It's only using the front. That's why it's a semi-integrated. So that is semi-integrated means it's got the front bit comes from Ford. And anyway, that's uh, as there's no one in it, I'll walk inside, taking my backpack off so that nobody complains and uh, it comes with lithium I a lithium battery as an option uh, German layout at the back uh, here we've got two burners and a sink fridge storage or well I wouldn't say all the way around because this storage is a bit pointless to say the least and uh, got storage under here as well which I shall demonstrate for you I mean it'd be better if you had a light in here and uh, so you can see what's happening but it is a Weinsberg so you can't expect anything any good and uh, let's come in here nice big shower there we go and yeah, this here comes across I might point out if it's working that is because I often it isn't working let's have, let's, oh, it is working in this case good it hasn't broken yet probably because of the Ford stab here. Incidentally, when you use the, flat, the, the shower, take the carpet out, otherwise it'll get wet. Uh, except you probably won't in the white vines because the water's probably burst, broken. Uh, smart TV, F function, and looking around, very nice. Uh, well, well, it would be if it weren't the white vines um, right, And note hasn't even got a flat floor. Right, there you go. And because at this, price level I expect the flat floor and I appreciate that if you spend a little less then you don't get the flat floor that is that to me is quite obvious right let's have a let's have a walk now out you can see 
VW in a different film and there's a there's a van behind this what California don't film it right I don't hear anybody filming that van over there right because you're not supposed to film it right? so you're warned uh, there you go Ford at Caravan Salon that's what you can get they're just some ideas there's plenty of vehicles on the Ford the Ford Transit camper van is in my opinion the best platform at present for a camper van uh, so thanks very much for watching we found it interesting and uh, I upload every day 21.15 uh, my time I'm in Germany and uh, or in Poland and if you're in the UK it's a bit earlier and if you subscribe you'll know when I'm uploading at other times so sometimes I do lives from events such as this but at the moment all the best from me in Germany